welcome to the workshop. This is one of our body surf hand planes. They're one of my favorite things to make because I think body surfing is the funnest way to enjoy the waves. And all our hand planes are made out of western red cedar, which makes it really durable in the water. They're laminated out of three separate layers to give them a concave, which helps with performance. And when you come on one of our Saturday workshops, you start the day with one of these, which is a hand plane blank. And you can also buy these on the website as a make your own at home kit. And today we're gonna to run you through the process of how we make these blanks. Everything we make is from timber we get from Stourhead Estate in Wiltshire. We get Western Red Cedar in 12 foot unseasoned rough sawn length. And the offcuts from making the surfboards, we turn into hand planes. So these three offcuts here become one hand plane. First we machine the planks and the first part of the process is putting them through the thickness surf to get a nice plain face. Here we go. Next up we're going to run each plank over the planer to get a good edge to work from. Now we're going to turn each set of three planks into the three layers that make up each of our hand plane blanks. So we rip that plank open and then there'll be the two halves that make up one of the panels. So here's the three planks that we've ripped open on the bandsaw. We've got a top, a middle with the knots on it, and the bottom. And this particular hand plane is going to be a triple pale stringer. So I've got some stringers here that I cut earlier on the table saw. And next thing we're going to do is slice the panel into sections on the table saw to accommodate the stringers. So here's our panel ready to glue up. Got the three stringers here. And then we use the wedges on this wedge board to bring in the pressure. Once everything's in position, we use this brown tape to hold it all in place. And then we can flip the whole thing over and apply the glue. I'm just using a five minute foaming PE glue. We clamp these wooden spurs over just to stop it from pinging up when we apply the pressure. And now it's ready to um, tap the wedges into place to bring it all together, which I usually do on the floor. And there you go. The glue will be set in about an hour and we'll be able to take that out and drum sand it. These are glued up panels. You can see they got a little bit of roughness off of the bandsaw. They're at about seven and a half mil at the moment. And we're gonna put them through the drum sander to bring them down to five mil. So we got our three panels off the drum sander after a few passes of five mil ready to glue up into a hand plane blank. And then the glue that we're using is a D4 waterproof PVA and we apply it to both sides. That seems to be the best glue one that we can get on these. Alright, and 
checking the ends to make sure that all the string is really nicely lined up. And then once we've got the string is all aligned, fold the tape over to hold it in place. Now it's ready to go in the press. So we've got our three panels loaded with glue, taped up at the edges, and they're ready to get laminated together in our press. The press, if you have a closer look, has got a concave shape in it, which when we take our blank out means that we've got this concave in the bottom of the hand plane that just gives the hand plane lift and better performance. So we better get them in while the glue's wet. And you see that's bent them into the curve of the press and when they set that concave will be completely in the hand plane and the fact it's made out of three layers which has completely stabilized the wood so it won't warp and um, the concave really gives it strength as well as performance. There we go, one more squeeze, tighten it right up. and we'll leave that overnight and take them out tomorrow. All right, here they are. This one's gonna be getting used on a Saturday workshop made into a beautiful finished hand plane. And this one is gonna go away on one of our make your own at home kits, which I'll show you now. There's a couple of different options with the hand plane kits. You can get it with a strap or with a hand hold. And you can get just the hand plane blank on its own with a bottle of tongue oil for finishing. Or you can get it with a full tool kit where you get a couple of clamps, a saw rasp, a Japanese pull saw, some sandpapers, a sanding block, the strap, and a bottle of oil. And if you want to learn more about how to make them, in James Otter's book, he's got a how to make a hand plane step-by-step -step guide. And that's his book there, Do Make the Power of Your Own Two Hands. And that's everything you need to know about the hand planes and the blanks and if you've got any more questions feel free to get in touch. Thanks for watching.